Hey everyone, my name is Nick, and this is just going to be a quick tutorial on how to put a consistent outline around a group of fairly complicated shapes. Um, so as you can see here, we got three images from a recent video that I did, and they're sort of progressively more complicated in terms of the outline of the shapes themselves. Um, but as you're going to see, it works the same for any kind of shape and this will hopefully get you a nice consistent outline going around the outside of the group of shapes. So let's start with this first character here. And it works the same for no matter what the shape is. Um, first, I'm gonna create a copy of that group. And then I use keyboard shortcuts a lot, but for purposes of demonstration, I will use uh, the menu just so you can see where it is in the menu as well. I'm going to ungroup that group of objects. So I'm going to, go to object, ungroup. If you're using keyboard shortcuts, that's shift control G. And now that the objects are ungrouped, I'm going to go to path union. Oh, I think I missed one. Doesn't look like everything. Oh, yep, I missed one. So I'm going to ungroup <laughs> this group of objects that's right here in the middle. I'm going to object, ungroup, and looks like I might have to do it again. Object, ungroup again. There we go. So just make sure you've actually ungrouped everything, otherwise it won't work. Um, I'm gonna select everything. I think that's everything. I'm gonna go to Path, Union, there we go. So basically I've just created a single shape from all of these sort of sub shapes that are part of that group. And I'm gonna add an outline to this new shape that I created. So after you click on that shape, I'm gonna go to Stroke Paint and pick whatever style you like. I'm just going to go with flat color and I'm going to change it to white. And then you can kind of see it's already there. I want to make it thicker by going to stroke style and then I'm going to put it on 30. Uh, you can change this at any point that you want, depending on whatever your needs are, uh, because these two shapes are going to stay independent. Basically, you're going to select both of these, align them using the align tab over here and then once they're aligned I'm gonna take the new shape with the stroke or the outline that we just created and send it to the back so I'm gonna go to object lower to bottom and the keyboard shortcut for that is end and there we go so you can see that we have a nice sort of consistent outline for this group of shapes and as I said, it works pretty much the same for whatever shape you need an outline for. Um, in this case, let's move to the second sort of most complicated shape that I got here, the tree. Um, I think I actually ungrouped everything, so I'm gonna group it back up quick, but as I said, the process is exactly the same. So I'm gonna make a copy and then ungroup. I'm gonna object, ungroup. Then I'm gonna to go to Path, Union. And there we go. It doesn't really matter what your fill color is because this whole shape is gonna be sitting behind your original shape. Um, so you just need to worry about the outline. I'm gonna to go to Stroke Paint and I'm just gonna stick with white. And then for the tree, I'm going to increase it a bit. And you can change the width of the stroke at any point because as I mentioned before, these two shapes are gonna be independent. So I'm going to select them both, align them using my align tab, and then finally click on the whatever shape is on top, if the one with the outline is on top in your file, and go to object, lower to bottom. And there we go. So this is a good teaching moment. Um, in this case, it looks a little bit off, so maybe my alignment wasn't correct. I'm going to see. I can do that again. Go back to my align tab, make sure they're centered and centered. Okay, they are. So in this case, I'm actually going to use the arrow keys. I'm gonna click on the object with the outline, which is behind my sort of original tree image here, and just tap up on the arrow keys till it looks pretty good. All right, there we go. Um, so you might notice in your image, depending on how complicated it is, some of the edges of the outline are maybe a bit too extreme or too pointy or too jagged. Uh, in this case, some of the edges at the bottom of the tree are a bit sharper than I would like them to be. 
So I'm going to click on that object, the one with the outline, which is sitting behind my main image. And over in my stroke style tab, I'm going to go to the join section and click on round join. That way it gives me a bit of a more consistent style around the edges down here at the bottom. It doesn't clash too much with the rest of the shape. Um, so I like that. I'm going to move it back over here. And I didn't have to click round join with my original shape because its edges are already pretty smooth. Um, so whenever you encounter some jagginess in your outline, you can click round join and hopefully that'll smooth some of that out. So with this final shape right here, you'll definitely see a bunch of that. I'm going to copy the shape. I'm going to go to object ungroup. And I think that's everything. I'm going to go to path union. Oh, it is not. So I'm going to use my keyboard shortcut shift control G and just tap that a bunch of times. There we go. That looks like everything is ungrouped. I'm going to go back to path union. There we go. Stroke paint, leave it on flat and white. Stroke style, turn it up again so we can see it. And there we go. So right away you can see some of the edges of this outline are pretty jagged, um, but we're gonna do the same thing that we did with the tree. First, I'm going to align them. And having selected the object with the outline before I move it to the back, I'm going to go to join and round join. Oh, looks a little better. Gonna send that to the back now. Object, lower to bottom. And there we go, that doesn't look too bad. Uh, you can definitely still see the sort of indentation in the outline, so that's not perfectly smooth, but I could play around with that, I think, and try to get it as smooth as possible if I wanted, but for my purposes, this is pretty good. And this is just a basic method anyway. Um, you can play around with it all you want just to try to get it as consistent as you need it to for whatever it is that you're drawing. Um, but this should work with any shape just to give you a sort of quick method of getting that nice sort of outline around your shapes. If you're making stickers or you need it to stand out from the background, etc. Please like and subscribe if you like the video and I hope to see you in the next one. Thanks.